All right, unseasonably warm weather across southeastern North Carolina. 77 year official high at ILM. That is two degrees short of the record of, uh, of uh, 79 set back in 2001. And we probably will fall a little short of the record tomorrow, too. That's 80 degrees uh, set back in 2018. But still, upper 70s are a pretty good bet for tomorrow. Of course, along the beaches, a little different story. Remember, you're still under the influence of some of the uh, water temperatures, particularly some of the beaches of Brunswick County. Your highs are likely to be more like low 70s versus the upper 70s that we'll see elsewhere. But there is another system heading our way. It will be making its way towards the Carolinas as we head towards Friday. But I have to say, this system is not looking quite as strong as the one that impacted the area last weekend. In fact, rain chances really aren't all that high. You can see for tomorrow and Thursday night, we're only saying about a 10% chance of a stray shower. Yes, it is possible. You can see one or two stray showers here or there, but it's not going to amount to much. Best chance of significant rain is clearly going to be during the day Friday and probably Friday afternoon when the front will actually pass through. There could be some gusty showers, maybe even one or two thunderstorms, but this is not going to be a big rainmaker. It's not going to produce much in the way of severe weather, so it's not a real powerful system. And once we get to Friday night, the rain threat is mostly over, and it's certainly over as we head into the weekend. No rain in the forecast for Saturday and Sunday, albeit Saturday especially is going to be a little bit on the cool side. Slight chance of some showers you can see for the early part of next week. As I said, this system is not going to really deliver nearly as much rain as what we saw last week. And in fact, some of the rainfall totals might be pretty paltry in southeastern North Carolina, maybe on the order of a tenth. Half inch of rain is probably going to be a stretch, but maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain might be a good average with this particular system. So again, not nearly as much rain as what we saw last weekend. 77 for tomorrow. We've got uh, partly sunny skies in the forecast. So that's exactly the same temperature as we saw today. Southwest winds, though, 10 plus miles per hour. You can see winds really ramping up late morning into the early afternoon hours and even tomorrow morning when you wake up. Temperatures are still likely to be in the 60s. This is the view in Southport. We're looking across the Cape Fear River towards Old Baldy and in Whiteville. Mostly clear skies at the sour, so a few cirrus clouds around, but that's about it. 72 in Wilmington, 73 Greenville, so all these temperatures unseasonably warm. Even back towards the west, 64 in Greensboro. A little bit on the warm side for this time of the year, and certainly 57 degrees in Boone above average. Here in Wilmington, we are 11 degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Greenville, 11 degrees warmer and 5 degrees warmer over in Raleigh. All right, temperature is certainly going to be a story here. Let's take a look at the latest hour by hour forecast model. You can clearly see that wind direction out of the south and southwest that will continue to bring warm air into the area. It's one of the reasons why temperatures won't drop that much either tonight. Temperatures likely to be in the 60s when you wake up uh, tomorrow morning. And then as we head towards the uh, morning hours, you can see 68 degrees. And there you can see 77 degrees likely as we head towards uh, tomorrow afternoon. To check out your 7-day forecast. Uh, 73 for the high on Friday with a few with a few stray storms mixed in with the gusty showers. Much cooler on Saturday. 30 starting off, 50s in the morning, but uh, 50 by afternoon. But Sunday we're already back in the 60s and 70s next week with some more shower chances by Tuesday. Some sad news to pass along this evening. Veteran actress Raquel Welch has passed away.